Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Tori and today I'm going to give you my March MBR. All right guys, it's been a month. February has been a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. And I kind of am continuing the trying to stay away from burnout kind of vibes that I had going on in January, which I'm not loving. I'm really excited to try something different in March. I'm really excited to finish up some of the buddy reads that I have had going on since uh, January and February. And overall, I just am really excited about March, to be honest. I think it's going to be a really fun reading month. I think that I'm so ready for some mood reading. That's going to be the theme of the month for March. I'm so, so, so excited to give myself some space to pick up some books that have been staring at me from my bookshelves for months and things that I just want to pick up on a whim because I can. First of all, the only two things that I have going from February into March that I'll be finishing in March are Augustus, which is a buddy read that I am currently doing with my father. Um, and I'm really loving this book, you guys. This is an incredible book. I cannot wait to do a review for this on my channel. I know that there's a lot of uh, people within my sphere of booktube that have been loving this since last fall. This is one of the best historical fiction books I think I've read ever. Like, it's going up on that list, for sure. Prose is beautiful. The way that the story is being told is beautiful. I really love... It's very difficult for books to go back and forth between time jumps without it seeming jarring. And I feel like John Williams pulls that off really beautifully in this book. So that's all I'm going to say about it right now. But I'm absolutely loving this read. And the only thing I'm not loving about it is that I've had to kind of start and stop with the buddy read. But that's probably a good thing. And we'll get more about that later because I do want to talk a little bit about some things that I have been learning uh, over the last month of buddy reads with Shogun and with Augustus and how that's kind of going to be informing my reading going forward. Augustus will be finished uh, first or second week of March. And then I will also be finishing this massive beast. And I'm not going to lie, I will be kind of sad to put it back on the shelf. This book is also really, really good. I'm really enjoying this buddy read. I am very excited to have another chat about the second half, second half, the second third of the book that uh, I'll be hopefully having that chat with um, Alan from Library of Alexandria, Alex from Talgar Reads, and Joanna from Joanna Reads uh, later this week. We'll be talking about the middle section of the book that we will have all finished by then. And then in March, we will be closing out the end of the book. And I'm really psyched about it. I really liked this book. I didn't really know how much I was going to love it going into it. And I have had a great time on this buddy read. But yeah, so this one will also be a March finish, which is exciting because then I will have both of those checked off. These were some great buddy reads. I've absolutely loved the experience and the discussions around these books have been amazing. So I have not had any complaints whatsoever in that department. The one thing that's been a little difficult for me, and this is something that I'm doing a lot of percolating on. I know there's a ton of videos coming out right now about how reading has changed in the larger community with the addition of things like BookTok, BookTube, etc. and how we approach reading books differently now. I was watching a video, a bit of a video of a Gardens of the Moon discussion and uh, AP Canavan was on it from A Critical Dragon. I will link all of these things down below. And he made a comment that I thought was really interesting and, and pertinent to how I've been feeling lately. And that was that he was talking about how we used to sit down and take books and just read a little bit at a time, really let it sink in, think about it, let it sit with us. Like there was no pressure. There was no pressure to finish a certain amount of books in a month and there was no a rush to the next book. And that kind of goes along with what I've been feeling the last couple of months and what I kind of mentioned in I think my last wrap up or TBR or whatever video it was where I was feeling a little burned out because I felt like I was constantly just rushing to the next book. And I think that a lot of the discussion about how we read and, and how we enjoy books is very timely for me at least. And the other thing is I think it really depends on the person because I know so many people that read 
so much faster than I do who really enjoy their books and they have a great time with it. So I don't think that it's a one size fits all for everyone by any means. I'm really starting to reevaluate my reading experience and how I enjoy books. I have some books on my review copies stack that I really need to get to and all of those I'm very excited about because I'm um, very careful to, you know, only add books to my review pile that I feel like are a really good fit for me and that I have time to spend on and I'm in the right headspace to give it the attention that it deserves because I don't want to read a book and like force myself through it because that's not going to be helpful for a good review or anything either. I'm going to be doing a lot of mood reading in March and April and I'm very excited about that. So March is kind of my last big finish, finish all the things <laughs> reading month but I still really want to give myself the opening to do some mood reading this month. And I don't know what that looks like yet, and that's okay. I have kind of pulled a stack of books that have been staring at me from the shelf um, for the last few weeks. So I did pull those to show you guys. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be reading any of these in the month of March, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been feeling lately, just because I thought that would be kind of fun. This one kind of surprised me. So I read the Ryuria Revelations last year in the summertime at some point and finished that ser that trilogy and had a good time. Like it was a solid three and a half star read for me probably overall. Really enjoyed Royce and Hadrian. They're a great bromance. And that's what I loved the most about the trilogy. And so I have had the crown and the crown tower for quite a while just sitting next to the Ryuria Revelations. This is the Ryuria Chronicles first book and this from what I understand is kind of the introduction to Royce and Hadrian. It's how they meet, how they get you know tied up together and start working together and a little bit more of their kind of nefarious thievery past which I'm very excited about. So it's not very long. I feel like this would be an incredibly easy read and it's characters that I'm familiar with and it just kind of feels like a little bit of a comfort read right now. I would like to go back to Royce and Hadrian for a little bit and just spend some time with a solid bromance set of characters and have a good time. Um, the next one for the self-pub shelf, which I have so many books on the self-pub shelf, you guys, that I am just... Ugh, I want to get to all of them. I wish I could clone myself and have about five of me reading at the same time because there are so many books on that shelf that I am just so excited to get to. But P.L. Stewart's A Drowned Kingdom is at the top of that list. I am super excited to read this. And again, it's not super massive. I think it's like 400 pages. Yeah, barely. 400 pages. And... I have so much respect for P.L. Stewart as a person and as an author, and I have been hearing nothing but praise over this book. I have heard um, P.L. talk on multiple channels about his writing process, his book, and other things, and just am really excited to get to this because I think it's going to be a really great read. So this is kind of at the top of my self pub pile right now, and it's been it's been it's been staring at me as you guys know because from previous TBR videos, uh, it's been staring at me for a while. Then I read the prologue of this book a while ago, and this one was on my uh, five fantasy books that I'm really intimidated to read, but I'm really excited about it, and that is the Forgetting Moon by Brian Lee Durfee. I know that several of my booktube friends really love this. Patrick Leo has talked about this. Mike's Book Reviews has talked about this. Brian is such a cool guy anyways, um, and I read the prologue to this book a couple months ago because sometimes I taste test, you know. I pick up a book and I just kind of read the beginning just to see how I'm feeling about it and if it's a good fit for me at the moment, and that prologue really, really grabbed me. It is a giant book, but I have heard from a lot of people that it reads fairly quickly despite that. And I mean, as you can see, the font's not, you know, it's not tiny font. So, and that prologue was really like solid action right away, really intense, really pulled me into the characters right away. 
which is all great signs for me as a reader. So I'm excited to read this. Then when it comes to review copies, the one I'm kind of working through them sort of in the order that I've received them from the authors. And one of the first books, I think this was actually the first time anyone ever reached out to me last year and asked me to review a book for them. That is Ascendant by Michael R. Miller, who's a great guy. I've chatted with him on Twitter a couple of times, and I know that this is like the Dragon Rider book that we all needed in our lives after certain other books may have burned us. Um, I'm really excited to get to this. I think that it's going to have some really cool themes in it, and even though it's a possible... I don't know if this is a chosen one. I think it is. Holt Cook was never meant to be a dragon rider. Yep, that sounds like a chosen one. I really have a lot of anticipation for this book. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. And there's a blind dragon on the cover, so I'm sold immediately. And then I have, once again... <laughs> you know, it's funny because... I, again, I had decided to read these uh, last summer. That I, I knew I wanted to do a reread of these in 2023, and then everything exploded, and all the rereads were happening, and all the read-alongs, and everybody is reading um, Malazan right now. And I think I kind of stepped back from it a tiny bit, because I really, this is a very special series to me, and I really wanted to kind of cocoon with it a little bit and have my own experience with the stories. And I have been loving all of the Malazan content from everybody who's reading it for the first time and people who are rereading it. And I think I was just going to kind of let that train get ahead a little bit of me before I started rereading it myself so that I could kind of like go into my little hermit cave uh, with one of my favorite series and just read it and have my own moment with it. So I'm not sure if I'll get to this this month. I'm, I'm still not sure. Uh, I really want to read these, and I'm very excited to reread them. I cannot wait. The last ones that I um, am going to show are actually manga. I picked up, well, my husband actually brought me home um, the first volume of Alice in Borderland, which if you have seen my K-dramas chat, or I think I've mentioned it on a couple other videos, I watched the Netflix show Alice in Borderland, both seasons one and two, really enjoyed it, and my husband brought me home the first volume of the manga, which I read in February, had a great time with it, have some complaints, but we'll get to that in the in the wrap up and review. Um, so I went to the library and I picked up volumes two and three, I can get through one of these in an afternoon. Um, so those will not be long reads and they'll be a really good palate cleanser, I think, in between. So I'm hoping to get through both of those uh, in the next few weeks here. These are all very much MBR, you guys. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for March yet. As far as the mood reading goes, I will probably be reaching for one of the books on this list in March, if not more than one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, and I'm actually totally okay with that because I really want to give whatever I'm reading the time to really enjoy it and to really sink into the reading experience and not rush so much uh, this month because especially if certain things are going on in April where I will have to reach a certain number of books during the month read. I realize this is a uh, massive stack. I will not be reading <laughs> this many books in March because I am also uh, writing my novel and that actually has been going really well the last couple of weeks. I've been making a lot of progress. I've been writing a lot more than I was kind of in that slump that I had between November and January. So that is really picking up some steam, which is another reason why I'm trying to give myself a little bit more downtime from reading, because writing a book is a lot of work and takes a lot of brain power and a lot of time. So usually when I have quiet moments to sit down and work on something, I'm writing instead of reading, which is a good thing, but it means that I'm having to slow down on how many books I am consuming right now. That's about it for me for this month. Um, if you have stuck with me this far in the video and you're enjoying what you're seeing, please go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Also, if you're interested in checking out my Patreon, go down in the comments section and check that out as well. I do a lot of behind the scenes content. I have a private Discord and I'm giving all of my patrons more updates on my writing process and all of the things and it supports 
supports the channel and I appreciate all of my patrons so much. Yeah, I hope you guys are also excited about your March TBR and I'd love to know down in the comments, let me know what you're planning on reading, what you're most excited for in the month of March. And I hope they are all awesome reads. I hope you have a great month of reading and I will see you guys in the next video.